Welcome to the know, I'm Meg Turney and gamers got burned by Capcom's Yoga Fire after the Street Fighter V beta went sonic boom and suffered major problems over the weekend. God damn, I love Street Fighter puns. The beta was initially opened on Thursday evening, but by Thursday night it had disappeared and the Street Fighter Twitter posted, we've brought the servers down for temporary fixes as of 7.25 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We will make a few fixes and bring it back up ASAP. Now that promise to get things back up faster than you could say Hadouken didn't quite pan out, and a PR rep for Capcom sent a statement to Kutaku Friday morning that read in part, In order to allow us to fix the issues as quickly as possible, we are going to initiate a period of extended maintenance, during which time the beta will be unavailable to all users. We will let you know the date on which the closed beta test will reopen once all problems have been fixed. Now for North America only, that day came on Saturday, when the beta went back online briefly, but during its time up it suffered a multitude of connectivity problems until it was gone for good once again for scheduled maintenance. In response to the inevitable fan backlash, Capcom has posted a lengthy statement, which I've linked in the description down there if you want to check it all out. Basically it just says, we're sorry and we're going to do better. The statement reads in part, Capcom offers its sincerest apologies to everyone who participated in this first beta test. While the purpose of a beta is to work out these type of issues, it was very clear that the issues we faced were more severe than we were prepared for. After three days of testing, while we were making progress and collecting valuable data, we felt the majority of players were not having a good experience, and the best course of action would be to take the servers offline for extended maintenance. We will be postponing our first beta phase until we believe the experience is going to be a positive one for players. Now, they go on to say that they won't count this weekend in their projected three beta periods prior to Street Fighter V's launch, so that's good news, and also that they wish to apologize especially to fans outside of North America who were shut out completely to make room on the servers. They've also promised a little something to make it up to all of their fans, writing, additionally, we are working on a worthwhile in-game incentive for the players that participated in the first beta test. While we can't confirm specifics just yet, we will have more details on this in the coming weeks. Now, no clue on what that could be, but you you can leave your guesses in the comments down below. So my question is, are failed beta tests like this frustrating to you as a fan, or do you think it's part of the beta process and everybody should just calm down? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget, you get the very best in video games and entertainment right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can know what we know and be the no one on this show. Are you?